everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my project polish finale. I decided to change the setup a little bit for my finale to, because to be honest I just didn't film like showing my face today. Uh, plus I have empty polish bottles to share with you today so I figured this was the best way for me to show them to you. Uh, that way you can really get close-ups. I finished everything that was left in my project. If you've been following me in this journey with my project polish Previously, I had these four polishes left to work with, and I'm very happy to announce that they are empty. First up, I want to share with you this mini bottle of polish from Bonbons. This polish doesn't have a shade name, it's just a mini yellow, and yes, it got very messy towards the end because of thinner, and you know when you're putting the bottle upside down and all that good stuff. But last time I shared this polish with you guys, I was right here and I finished all of that product in the last few months. This polish lived mostly on my toes because as you can see, uh, these are the only other polishes that I had in this project and the formula was not the best on those. So this one was the easier to put on my toes for a quick petty. I'm not so sure that you can clearly see through the bottle, uh, maybe kind of right there uh, but this bottle is completely empty like I said I had it upside down for quite a while I can't even open it if you guys recall this is a sentimental polish for me my daughter gave me this polish uh, for last Mother's Day not this year's but 2017 and also you guys were the ones that voted in this polish into the project so I'm very happy to announce that it's gone and even though I really like the shade you know it's one less polish in my massive collection so that's always good next up I want to share with you the other three empties these were uh, part of the Formula X Neon Pop set. You see one missing here because I finished that one previously on another update. I think it was on my last one. I can't remember, but that one has been gone for a while. So let's go ahead and start with, no, let's start with the green one because this was my least favorite of the ones that were left. Uh, last update, I was about halfway through this mini bottle and I finished all of that. You can clearly see through this bottle. I mean, what's left in there is just like a little bit of dried up polish clinging to the sides, especially to the bottom, but nothing that can be reachable anymore. I was very happy to have this one done because uh, the formula just got really horrible at the ends. And that was in the shade Hotline Bling from Formula X. The next neon mini from the formula x kit is electrifying and this one was about three quarters full it was up there finished all of that and i actually really enjoy this color i think this was my favorite color out of uh the neon set it looks like there's polish in there but it's not it's just stuck to the bottom because the formula on this mini's got so goopy towards the end the last polish that i finished is the one that i actually enjoyed wearing the most because the formula was a little better on this polish this is in the shade power trip and the line kind of wore down but i was up here in my last update and i finished all of that recently uh this one i clear out the bottle pretty good the formula was so good even towards the end i really enjoyed wearing this for that reason this was the last polish that i finished in this project the last time i used this was on thanksgiving weekend uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, these were the neon yellow nails that I was sharing with you on my Insta stories. I, I'm not a seasonal wearer, so I do enjoy wearing neons any time of the year. Um, it's just the formula that made it so bad. Uh, I mentioned it previously, this required, this polish is required two coats of a white base plus two to three coats of the color. And it, they still look kind of streaky, which is why some of my swatch pictures that you've seen are not the prettiest. Not that I'm the best watcher or the best at taking pictures because I'm not, but the formula on this polish is didn't really help me you know with these four polishes out of my stash that brings my yearly total of nail polish finish in this project to 11. i moved out 11 polishes this year and i am so happy granted most of these were minis but you know what progress is progress and even if all 11 of them were minis i would have still been happy because that's 11 polishes out i really wanted to end the year with 11 polishes less but as you all know I've been purchasing tons of polish throughout the whole year, so even though my numbers are not lower than when I started this year, I am very happy that I did manage to move some out. I'm going to quickly recap and share with you, um, since I am doing this whole year of nail polish empties, I'm going to quickly show you the other polishes that I finished this year. Uh, if you're interested in seeing swatches and progress and all that stuff, uh, 
I am gonna link my project polish playlist at the end of this video. Very early on this year, I finished this uh, mini bottle of Formula X in the shade Wondrous. And I mean, you can clearly see through that bottle. I also finished, uh, here's the other mini. This was the hot pink mini from the set. I just mentioned how much I really didn't like the green mini. Well, this one had a worse formula than the green one, which is why I really focused on this polish first. Uh, this was in the shade Flamingo, and I'm so happy to have that one out. The last mini, well, not the last mini, but the last mini from Formula X that I finished was the Neon Pop Base Coat, which was the white undies, uh, to this whole set. And uh, right there you can see through the bottom of this mini bottle. So happy that one's out. The other mini that I did finish that was not necessarily from Formula X was this Gloss Teeny from CoverGirl. And this beautiful polish is in the shade uh, Seared Bronze. I really love this polish. You can clearly see through the bottle right there. like. Literally, you can see straight through it. Uh, this was my husband's favorite. Every time I wore this polish, he would compliment my nails. So I miss this polish, uh, but I'm pretty sure I have something similar like this in my collections. Another one that's been kind of peeking through is this one from Nicole by OPI. This was in the shade Diva Into the Pool, and it was just a shimmering blue, uh, pretty color. Um, not my favorite, to be honest. Plus, uh, getting the polish out of this bottle was kind of difficult, but nonetheless, uh, I'm happy that I stuck to it. Uh, there's, You can kind of see right there through the bottle, the way to the bottom. I'm happy that I pulled through and that I got this bottle out. Very early on, I finished this Simple Colors Polish. This is in the shade Dream On, and this was uh, the original Dream On. I know the new version of Dream On looks a little bit different than this one uh, and I mean this is another one that you can clearly see through the bottle as well and this polish had a matte finish it was different in my stash for sure but I'm happy that it's not part of it anymore and the last one that I have to share with you and you can clearly see through the bottle there uh, it's this one from Sally Hansen from their diamond strength line and it was in the shade together forever this is one of the OG's in my uh, nail polish collection it was at least eight years old. So I was super happy when I finally got to the bottom of this bottle. Of all the empties, this is the one that I'm mostly proud of. This project is what kept me focused and helped me get this 11 polishes out of my stash. But you know, every time you apply polish, you do need a top coat and a base coat. So in addition to this colored nail polishes, I also managed to finish four other nail polishes, but these are base coats and top coats. I finished uh, the Shine On Strength uh, Strengthening Top Coat from Formula X. Uh, I had this for so long. I'm just so happy that I finally decided to focus on this one and get it out. I also finished the Pure Ice Girl on the Run uh, Quick Dry Formula Top Coat. Um, there's still some product in there, but this product gets so goopy when you're like, halfway or when you're getting near the end so that was really hard for me to get out even with thinner i still counted it as one of my empties for the year and i really like this top coat it dries really fast leaves your nails very shiny but you do have to keep in mind that somewhere around here when you start reaching the bottom it gets so hard to work with that you are gonna have to waste that much product but it's only 198 uh it's up to you if you think it's worth it or not. Also from Pure Eyes, I finished the bottom line base coat. This base coat does nothing special for the nails. I just use it to prevent staining. And uh, I use this Pure Eyes top coat. I do not like this as a top coat, so I used it as a base coat and it did its job. I feel like it helped prevent staining from very pigmented polishes, so. Uh, there's that. I personally don't look for anything special when it comes to top coats or base coats, so I just go for what's most affordable, and Pure Eyes takes the cake on that. Base coats and top coats included brings my yearly total to 15 nail polishes all together out of my stash this year. I am so happy that I did this project. I love watching project polish videos. I love doing project polish. I will continue to do project polish. In fact, I already picked my five polishes for my 2019 project polish intro, which I will have up for you guys sometime next week. So stay tuned for that. I think overall I did pretty well on focusing on some polishes for my stash. There's still a lot more polishes that I need to work on. You guys know I have tons and tons of polish 
but I'm just very happy that, you know, I am showing love to my stash. But for now, this is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. Let me know in the comments below if you're doing project polish. I would love to go check out your progress. I, like I mentioned, I love project polish. Uh, if you've been focusing on some of your polishes, let me know how many you finished this year. I will be back sometime next week to talk about project polish 2019, set some goals with you guys and all of that fun stuff. And like I've said, if you missed any updates and you want to follow my journey to see how we got to this point i will link the playlist somewhere here on the screen thank you so much for your time guys please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll